Hi and very welcome to my new little chitty chatty video. Little disclaimer, please note, all of this is just gossip, rumors, pinch of conspiracy theory and my personal thoughts on it. Since a few months there are rumors that the big fashion houses, especially Louis Vuitton and Chanel, are getting rid of their data codes and authenticity cards that they have been using since decades to provide the authenticity of their items, especially handbags and some SLGs. Why are they getting rid of these systems that they have used for such a long time? Well, there seems to be a new improved system using microchips, which is supposed to make the authentication process much safer. Because if we are honest to ourselves, there really are a lot of fakes out there and they really are getting better and better. And this is a huge problem when it comes to service repairs or even returns. I have heard of horror stories about scammers buying an authentic item and returning a fake one and then some other customer is buying the fake unknowingly because no one noticed it's a fake and not even the employees of these fashion houses in any case anymore can spot a super fake. Does this really happen? I don't know but I for sure can imagine because these fakes are getting better and better I myself do have some unpleasant experiences with unknowingly buying fakes. I uploaded a story time on how I got to court because of the fake Louis Vuitton agenda. So if you're interested in that, I will leave you the link to the video in the description box and I would really appreciate it if you check that video out as well. Employees are not allowed to tell you if an item is real or fake. For example, if you bought a vintage secondhand piece and you want to go to the store and want to get it checked and ask them, please can you tell me, is this item real? They are not allowed to tell you. At least that's the experience I've made in the past. Sometimes if you have kind of a connection or if the salesperson has a good day, they might take a look and give you a little hint or let you know their opinion, but they are not allowed to confirm officially. If you are really into these designer brands, maybe you are interested in buying secondhand, quite sure you have researched, you might know how these data codes and authenticity cards do work. Kind of the system behind it, what the letters and numbers stand for, what they do mean and what they can tell you about the item you got. In this video I will not talk Hermes at all because I personally never bought or owned an Hermes piece so I never dived that deep into the authentication process for that brand. It will only be LV and Chanel in this video. So embossed numbers on leather or stickers or numbers on cards they can be faked quite easily and if you are not that deep into the luxury community and luxury authentication you might know there needs to be a data code, you might know there needs to be an authentication card, but you might not know in detail what the numbers or letters or whatever it is have to look like, what requirements they have to meet to make up for an authentic item. Back when I was fooled by that fake Louis Vuitton agenda, I knew there has to be a data code and the item had one and yet still I did not really know what the data code had to look like at first sight. So I even got tricked by the fact that the fake item got a data code because I thought okay it got a code, seems legit, <laughs> when it wasn't. Even if you know the requirements, you are not safe because it's not impossible to fake a data code, it's not impossible to fake a Chanel authenticity card and number. Scammers can just take the number of an item that is authentic and copy that. And things like this get harder and harder to spot. So sooner or later the fashion houses had to come up with a solution for this problem of counterfeit piracy because they are losing billions to this. And no code or no chip can totally stop that. Because to be honest, I'm quite sure all of us have seen really terribly poorly made fakes. And yet still, there are people out there buying them knowingly they are fake. They do not care for a code or a card or even authenticity at all. They know it's a fake and they are fine with it. But that's not the topic for today. When I heard about the microchip thing going on, I could not really make up my mind how to feel about it. <laughs> not so much 
well not not so much not at all because i was scared of civilians or tracking or anything like that i'm very confident that these fashion houses and designer brands respect our privacy on that terms so that's not my problem here and a better safer way to spot fakes and make sure your items and the items you get and the items you sell are authentic wow i'm all in for that because I know firsthand what terrible feeling it is if you spend your hard-earned money on an item that turns out to be fake and you are stuck with it, your money is gone and you can never ever resell it and the item is just not worth the money. And because of being scared to be scammed, some people only buy new from store. And I feel them. If I would have unlimited money, I think I might buy only from store as well. I don't know. Maybe some of the limited edition pieces. I don't know, I cannot even imagine having that much money that I would never ever have to consider to kind of be on a budget. It's a good question. If your money was unlimited, would you ever go the second hand route? And if so, why? What I was trying to say is some people just buy new from store because they are scared to get scammed if they buy from a private person or even to get scammed if they buy from a consignment website because they do not trust their authentication. And that's a safe way to be safe, at least if the horror stories are not true that some scammers return the fake items and some customers buy them unknowingly. <laughs> I don't want to scare you out too much. So if the new microchip technology helps to prevent fraud and stop product piracy, what's my problem with it? What are the cons of this new microchip technology for authentication? Why do I have mixed feelings about them? Well, first of all, I'm quite sure this new technology will come with a huge price increase. The prices of luxury brands, they go up with no reason. So you better be sure if there is a good reason like the use of a new, safe, secure technology, prices will get up significantly. Oh, good question here. Would you be fine to pay more if the whole process is more secure then? Let me know if you would like to. But the increased prices, they will be a con for us as the consumers, especially the ones that cannot go out and about and buy whatever they want, whenever they want. The ones like me, myself, who have to save up to get one of these items. It will be harder to do so, but... Price increases are kind of connected to these luxury brands. They ever have been and they ever will be. And to be totally honest, it even is one of the reasons why we desire them so much. And for sure they are one of the reasons why we know if we buy that item today, we can sell it on and get our money back, for some pieces even make quite a profit on it. It's because of the price increases. We buy it now and in 10 years time your bag might show some signs of wear, but the price has doubled. So you can sell it, have used it for 10 years and still get your money back and something on top. But but with the increased prices and the investment aspect of it. Here we come to a more problematic field already. What about all the items we already own? What about all the purses and bags we bought pre-2021? Pre-microchips for authentication process. The hundreds and thousands of euro and dollar we already spent to build up our collection. Having in our minds, or at least making us think and making us feel better, we could sell these pieces if we need to. We do not lose money on them, or maybe on some purses a little, but in general they hold their value. Will all these purses and items drop in their value significantly? Because in some years time from now on they will not be authentifiable anymore up to the new standard. Will all the older items that do not have a microchip be under general suspicion then already by this time? Let's talk Chanel for a moment. This is my beautiful vintage bag. I bought it pre-loved and I was willing to pay somewhat more to get this stupid piece of plastic with it because I wanted to make sure this bag is authentic. But hear me out. Already by this time, for example, if you want to sell a Chanel bag, you lose the card. The value of this bag drops a few hundred, if not even thousands. This is a simple piece of plastic. The number itself is still on a sticker inside of the bag. Well, at least in most cases. There are even bags without a sticker that drop even deeper in value. And consider the number on the back of this card. It could be faked quite easily as well. By now, they can fake a bag to make it look 
perfectly legit. Do you really think this little piece of plastic will stop them? Or any kind of embossed coat on a piece of leather on a Louis Vuitton purse? And yet still, we are connected to these methods of authentication that have been used by the brands for decades. And I'm quite sure some of you will be like, well, they can fake a bag to look perfect, they can fake a data code, and they can fake a Chanel card and number. Why shouldn't these scammers be able to fake a microchip in some time from now? And that is a very illegible question, because by now I do not know what kind of technology they will use for these microchips. If anyone does know any insights on that, please let me know in the comments, I would love to hear that. I don't know what kind of technology they are going to use for these chips. And for sure they will try to keep this a secret as long as possible. I think we all can align on no matter what method they will use for these microchips, they at least get a little head start from the scammers and counterfeit piracy for a few years. But now it gets tricky, hear me out. I would go a step further. I don't think they use technology with these microchips that is falsifiable, copyable or manipulable in any kind of way. I think if they do not now, they will do in the nearest future work with the new technology of blockchain. And believe it or not, this blockchain technology, it is not falsifiable. To explain the whole system behind it, it would be way too complex, way too complicated, way too technical. And of course, I have to admit, I myself do not understand all of it, even though I try to read into it every now and then, but I can try to simplify it. Blockchain is a huge network. It's database and highly complex. To extend this network furthermore, to build it, to make it bigger, there are mathematical functions calculated by so-called miners and they get a reward for doing so. But these mathematical functions, they are so complex, no human being could solve them and no computer on its own could. You need the whole network all together with all its calculation capacity to solve these functions by trial and error and solve them by chance. One single supercomputer, not the computers we have at home, really the, the best of the best, would take 0.65 billion years to crack the code of blockchain. Therefore, if blockchain is used, the data really is safe. There is not enough capacity out there to fake it on your own. The authenticity and the origin of our beloved luxury items can be coded onto the blockchain and it can be read out through these microchips. So if blockchain technology is used, no scammer and not even a network of multiple scammers could fake it because even a whole network of them together would not have the resources to change anything that is on the blockchain. And if there was a change, everyone could see it. So yes, I think it would be a huge win against counterfeit piracy, plagiarism and fakes. But my biggest concern is that it might get our investment back bubble that we love all so much just burst. And it might crash the value of all our existing bags we already have in our collection. And the worst of this, I see a huge danger for the whole resale market. Consignment stores, private sales, all of that. Wasn't there a lawsuit in 2020 where Chanel tried to sue the real real for selling inauthentic bags on their platform? Do you remember that? And haven't there been efforts from Chanel because of that instant to stop all sales from external providers, stop everyone who's not Chanel itself? Yet with the problem of private shoppers that buy up all the stock and immediately turn it around, sell it for a higher price and make a profit on their own, that's a huge amount these fashion houses lose, money they could have made on their own, so they are trying to stop that. Well, back then in 2020, when Chanel tried this, maybe pretending it's about their authenticity, but maybe already having in mind they do not want this whole resale thing going on at all. The advancement of Chanel stopping other sales, it was unenforceable back then. You cannot just forbid people to sell their own belongings that they paid for and that they own. But for sure, it already is illegal to sell fakes. It is not necessarily illegal to own them, depending on the country you live in, but you may not buy them and for sure, most definitely, you may not sell them. So if the fashion houses themselves are the only ones who can authenticate the items, by reading out all the information that is on the microchips, isn't there a chance they could try again to stop all resales? 
which are not handled directly through them because no private person, no personal shopper, no reseller, no consignment platform, none of them could provide the authenticity of these items anymore. They just could not authenticate and guarantee the authenticity because of lack of technology. They could still use all the other criteria like the quality of stitching and all the little things they are there, but they couldn't say it with a 100% guarantee for sure. To be honest, they cannot do that by now already because super fakes are getting so crazily good. But that would be a real evidence, something the fashion houses could take to court and say, hey, we are the only ones that know and no one else can claim. No reseller, no consignment platform can do that. So they are not allowed to sell our items anymore. <laughs> so as I said, all of this are my personal thoughts based on some rumors and my limited knowledge on the blockchain technology. This is no reason to freak out because it's all just made up in my mind. But maybe take to consideration this dystopia could come our truth. But to start on a more positive note, it could be as well that all of us will get access to this technology. Maybe there will be a website or an app or you can just go to stores and let your item be scanned and everyone can check the authenticity easier. Maybe it will be more safe for all of us luxury lovers and everything will be fine. Except our investment bags that are older than 2021 dropping in value. <laughs> just kidding. Please be safe. Don't get too scared. If you have any insights on this topic, I would love to hear them because I'm so curious on this whole conspiracy theory with the data codes and authentication cards. So share all your thoughts with me. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around and listening to my feels on this topic and see you next time. Bye. <laughs> and evidence. Room. Because positive. <laughs>